Native to Ireland, the Red Squirrel's story is full of twists and turns. I've never even seen a Red Squirrel. Till you come to Cork. Till I came to Cork to Fota, and I can see two of them there. Yeah, we have a very high population in, in Fota. Estimates were up to 50 animals. The red squirrel is our native squirrel, and we, we call them here for the rebel reds. The rebel reds. The rebel reds. They're quite special just to look at because oh, no. they're so different from what you're used to seeing in Ireland, like the grey squirrel is what I know. Yeah, unfortunately, because the, the grey squirrel is almost twice the size of our, of our little red squirrel there, it basically bullies the red from its habitat. And as you know, Ireland doesn't have too much woodland, native woodland, and that's, that is the, the problem. How does the grey squirrel then take uh, over? Well, originally it's from North America. It's a North American species. And the story goes that, both back in 1910, 1912, roughly speaking, that the grey squirrel was brought in as a wedding present up in County Longford to a couple getting married. Just like these days, you go to some weddings and they're leaving doves off aside churches. This couple got a, a wedding present of 12 grey squirrels. That's what the story goes, you know? <laughs> and I suppose, fortunately, natural barriers, like I suppose maybe the River Shannon and the Galtee Mountains has curtailed coming to Cork. And as well as that, with Fota, we're an island. Yeah. So, uh, and the water acts as a barrier, so. There's no grey squirrels There's here. no squirrels. And there won't be squirrels. any on your watch? Hopefully not, as I say, we like to call them the, the rebel reds, like, do you know what I mean? And, but quite important because if we don't look after what we have on our own doorstep, what hope is there for the rest of the world and the planet? <laughs>